Hi, this is Eric Solomon bringing you the Mammoth Park Win Early Pick 5 Preview for Saturday, September 11th. Put together a $36 ticket. Uh, yesterday, they were off the turf unexpectedly. Uh, there's only one turf race in the sequence, so I, I'm pr thinking that they're going to be back on the turf. Only only uh, eight days left in the meet, so I, I'm thinking that they will be on the turf, so I've handicapped that only for the grass here. Uh, race one in the sequence, uh, Maiden Claimers, two-year-old Phillies. I'm really not struck by any of the first-time starters in this race, so I, I think the two favorites are pretty logical here. Rock Rose is going to be my top pick, dropping in from Maiden Special Weight. I did expect a better effort from her last time out, but perhaps getting bumped kind of hard at the start threw her off her game. She drops into Maiden Claiming, and if she can get back to her debut, that's probably good enough to win with this level. The five cup of life, the main danger. She was a solid third beating the length of this level uh, two weeks ago. She comes back here for third start. Kelly Breen, Nick Juarez, is certainly a potent combination here. Race two going to be my single optional claiming uh, non-winners of one allowance, three-year-old Phillies. I'm all in on guns blazing here. Claimed by Kelly Breen after running a dull effort last time out. Draw the line through the turf race two back, and her prior form from the summer certainly is good enough to beat this group. I am expecting the favorite, Greatest Love, uh, to regress a little bit. That was a big effort last time out, and she now she's making her third start in 26 days. I'm um, just not completely sold that she can run back to that a week later. So I, I, I'm I'm with guns blazing in this race. Race three, going to use three in this $5,000 time-restricted claimers. I like Hooray for Harvey. Chance to maybe find a little bit of value in this race. Uh, this horse faced much better in his last two. Beaten by Bryce, who, who has been a dominant horse at this meet. And that race ran a 94 buyer. Also, Sneakiness is, has been a strong horse winning uh, 12,000 claimers last time out. So definitely getting class relief, and I, I like that the fact this one is going back to two turns. When you look in the form at the distance, 0 for 8 at the distance certainly would be a cause for pause normally. However, you go back and look, a lot of those mile and 16th races where, where his horses struggled have, have been at Belmont going one turn was significantly better. He does have some, a couple wins at two turns at Finger Lakes going the flat mile. So, so I'm really not concerned about the stretch out. And in fact, I like it for this horse and the chance maybe to get a little bit extra value off that. Indian Gulch is the main threat in this race. Second at this level, two back. Was off the board with Tougher last time out. So it makes sense coming back here. I'm going to use the favorite Paul the Waiter, but probably in the uh, vertical exotics, I'm going to try and beat this one again. This one certainly ha has races that in the not so you know, in the not so distant past that that are good enough to easily win with this came back at this level uh, let, or was similar last time out and just had was it was a non-effort was seventh never really in contention as a beaten favorite that day there's certainly a chance that this one just is off form right now um but if, if he does come back I, I don't want to be left out and you know singling in the last race and going too deep early on there's certainly a little bit of room for spreading here Race four, I'm going to go four deep in the two-year-old maiden special weight on turf. I think the first-time starters are key here. Board certified, a Colts neck, first-time starter for Jorge Duarte. Th this combination, 12 for 27 at the meet. That's certainly a great winning procession percentage. Their first-time starters have been live all meet long. This one's certainly bred to be on the turf, so I, I think this one has a live shot. Also, Chad Brown's got Rio King, Bal Abali, English, cha uh, English Channel Mare, Definitely has a turf pedigree, several local drills like the other horses. Also going to use the one shimmering Leroy, a respectable debut in a turf sprint with Maiden Special Weight. Steady late that day, has the pedigree to improve at longer distances. Also coming out of that race number five, Chief Engineer. Uh, definitely improved first time turf for that one. Uh, the pedigree, I'm a little questioning the two turns at the mile at this point. I would maybe like to see this horse at like a six or seven furlongs at maybe Belmont, although, you know, that competition is also pretty salty. But re regardless, I, I think it, there was enough improvement last time out to use this one here. And then we get to race five, the Rumson Stakes, a five furlong dirt sprint. Uh, I'm going to try and beat the three to two morning line favorite Frank Itelli here in this race. I think a couple others are faster earlier, uh, and I'm not sure he's going to get the best trip. I'm going to use the four, ready for primetime, the long shot, as my top pick here. Dylan Davis is coming in to ride. This is a first-time start for Jeremy, first-time starter with, first-time starting, excuse me, for Jeremiah Englehart. Englehart, 39% going turf to dirt. Love that angle. 
first time on dirt. I think this one might just be able to kind of set a trip just off some dueling leaders. I, I think that the two best speed horses in here, I'm going to use both Foolish Gold Ghost and Quick Tempo. Foolish Gold Ghost was the winner uh, here in Optional Claiming Allowance on July 4th. Went really fast early and kept finding late. Also won the John Morrissey for New York Breds at Saratoga. Two back. Faded late last time out in the tail of the cat at six furlongs. So this uh, this is an easier spot than that race here. Certainly can take a lot of pace pressure and keep on going. Uh, same could be said for the three quick tempo. Chris Davis and Sophie Doyle, they teamed up to be second in the sorority earlier this uh, last week. Uh, th this one's a three-year-old taking on older horses. They, they really shot for the moon and tried him in the Big and Crosby at uh, Del Mar last time out. Struggled there, but I, I thought the race when facing older horses at Prairie Meadows in the Iowa Sprint was, was strong. This one's certainly live here, too. That's how I'm going to spend $36 ticket. Beautiful day down at the Jersey Shore, so take a look at Mammoth, and we'll see you tomorrow.